Hey guys, today I have this bold holiday glam for you. The first one of the season. Super excited. Love this time of year. It's seriously one of my favorites. And if you guys are interested on seeing how I got this bold makeup look for the holiday time, then let's go ahead and hop right on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my eyes today. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Lights. This is my favorite concealer. I absolutely love using concealers for priming out my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it just with the applicator like so, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. For shadows today, I'm going in with this kitten palette from Winky Lux. This actually came in this month's BoxyCharm for the month of November. You guys, this box is incredible for this month. I was super excited. It is the box called Sweater Weather, and you get amazing products. Like, for one, we'll just look at this one, which I'll be using later on. It's the Cover FX Illuminating Spray. You guys have been watching me. You know I love to glow. And this alone was like 30 something bucks. And for the box, you get five items for 21 bucks a month. So considering that, I think it is totally worth it. I will have a link down below where you guys can go check out BoxyCharm if you're interested. But I am gonna be using a bunch of products that I did get in this box in this video. The subscription is amazing. The products that come in there just keep getting better and better. Go ahead and hop on into the colors. Today I'm going in with this color right over here to put into my crease. It is a beautiful like caramel color. It's the shade Strut. Let's go ahead and apply that color. I'm actually taking this Luxie brush that did come in this month's BoxyCharm as well. Oh, you get a lot of color with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this into my crease. I definitely wanna do a holiday look today. I know I'm probably gonna be a little early, but your girl already set up for Christmas. I already have my decorations up. I'm in full swing, I'm ready. So I'm gonna just go ahead and run this color into my crease and swish it out. And I'm gonna bring it in circular motions as well into the beginning of my eye right over here just to make a gradient look. I'm gonna actually put this color into my crease but a little bit above the crease as well just so it kinda sits right on top of that bone right here. Everyone's crease is different so keep that in mind but I'm just gonna kind of buff it right into here just so it kind of like actually extends my crease a little bit because I have a low one. So if you want to make it a little bit higher then you would put it a little bit higher up. So that's what I'm going to do today just so it can have that illusion and just place it literally on that bone. I'm going to go in with this color right down here. It's like a burgundy plumish color and I'm going to run this right by that crease using this Mac brush and just kind of deepen up that crease area just a little bit more. I liked the other color called Strut to kind of get more of a like transition and like a diffuse look to the look and kind of cancel out any color we had going on there since it was more of a natural tone. So now when I bring in this plumish burgundy, it's going to intensify that area a little bit and give more dimension. And I am just gonna be swishing out the colors. I like to do that in a lot of my looks. I feel like I've done that like in all of my looks, but for my eye shape in particular, I like to push it out. So I'm just gonna keep buffing this color right into here. Just building up this shade. And these are matte colors and I actually really like the way that they are applying. And I'm just gonna go back in with that Struck color, which is more of like that neutrally cut tone. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend right above that burgundy just to kind of blend them together and make it look more seamless and, and just keep this area like nice and blown out. So I'm just picking up a little bit more of that plumish color and a little bit of this first one down at the last row in the shade Romeo. And I'm just gonna apply it on that same brush we use in our crease and gently pack it right into this outer third area. I just think that will bring more of a dimension to the look. And this Romeo shade has a little bit of a hint of like a shimmer, but nothing too crazy. So it's not too glittery for that outer corner. I think it fits okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly pack it and then I'll blend. And I'm gonna go in with some of this brown. It's like a really deep chocolatey brown and I'm gonna put that into the inner section of the lid. I may really make this a really smoky look, so. So I'm actually changing plans. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run this deeper color, swishing it out into that burgundy plum we had, and it will bring it a little bit darker in this area. But that's cool. Then I'm gonna go in with that plum one again, and bring that right here. And 
I'm gonna take some of this gold that's in this palette as well, right over here, and I'm gonna take my finger actually just because it'll warm up the product a little bit more and you can see it has more of a metallic look. So I'm gonna pop that right into the center. So once I've applied the gold, I need to blend out this top portion a little bit. So I'm just gonna take that brush, kind of blend out this area. And I am gonna work back in that plum right into the outer section again and to the front. For the brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and take this lighter shade right over here, which is more of a white color. This is the Luxie 221 T brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right underneath my brow bone and blend it out. I'm gonna use a more defined brush and spritz it with Fix Plus to intensify that gold. I'm gonna drag that color right underneath just so it's more diffused and smoked. So moving over to the face, we will hop back into the eyes in a little bit. I'm going in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I'm going to apply a little bit to my face. It is more of a moisturizer in my opinion, but I like it because it's going to hydrate the skin as well as getting it all ready for our foundation. So it does have that moisturizer feel and it feels a little bit more on the liquidier side as opposed to like a silicone. It doesn't have that in it, but I kind of like that because... I think it gets tacky enough where the foundation just adheres to it really nicely. Then we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Mine is in the shade 230. Absolutely adore this foundation. I'm gonna pump a little bit on my hand. This LA Girl sponge. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium and then I'll take the shade light as well. Put this right underneath my eyes to brighten, conceal, all that good stuff. I think this concealer in conjunction with the foundation is phenomenal. I love how they work together. And I'm just going to take a little bit of light just to blend in. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl sponge and blend in. To go ahead and set my under eyes, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm using this MAC brush to go ahead and set underneath. It is a flat brush. Okay, and now I don't typically bake, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this fluffy brush and fluff that away. To go ahead and bronze up my skin, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula City Glow. This is their bronzer. And I'm going to go in with both of the shades, I guess. It's more of a light, ashier type of bronzer, but it also has a tiny bit of shimmer to it. I'm just going to dust off the excess and apply it right to this section just to give an added color. And then I'll go in with my Too Faced bronzer to define this area a little bit more. And this is the MAC brush that I've been obsessed with, you guys. This is the sh number 140S, and it fits perfectly for a light sweeping. Then I'm just going to go in my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep on that same brush and push a little bit more into the cheekbone area and where I typically do my contour, but I'm just going to do, like, bronzing today. Moving back over to the eyes, I'm taking this LA Girl Intense Stay Liner, and this is the nude color. I'm gonna run this right into the lower lash line area of my eye. I feel like we need to brighten up this section just a little bit. So 
So for my lashes today, I'm going in with these OG lashes in the style 93. I will insert a photo if I can find one right here. I don't have the actual packaging. I'm actually using them just like so. And I actually cut the ends a little bit just so it's not so long. So once I have on the lashes, I'm going in with this Lancome mascara. Okay, so like I always do in a lot of my videos, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that plumish shade and bring it back into the eye. I'm going to put it right into this area and into the front just a little bit. Taking this Define brush from Luxie that also came in this box, I'm going to take a little bit of that gold as well. Right from this inner corner and dragging it on the lower lash line. So go ahead and highlight up the skin today. I'm going in with the Cover FX Illuminating Spray first, and then I'm gonna go in with a highlighter right over top of it. So we're gonna get two times the glow. This is gonna go ahead and set the makeup, but it's also gonna have a nice illuminating look to the skin. So for the holidays, I feel like that is perfect. And then for highlight today, I'm going into the Artist Couture, and this is the shade Conceited. It is a very loose powder, so I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit, because a little bit goes a very long way with this powder. And I'm gonna apply it here first. Now for lips, I'm gonna go in with this lip color that I did get in this box. I know this entire video probably consisted of a lot of these products, but seriously, they all kind of went hand in hand and I'm pretty much obsessed. So this is the Cloud Lips in the color Storm. It is a beautiful, deep, deep color. Definitely reminds me of winter time and holiday season. Okay, so once I have the lips all done, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray to ensure it all locks down in place, gives a little bit of shimmer, and completes this holiday glam. So as you can see, that little illuminating mist just gives your skin the perfect illumination. Very natural, sets the makeup. I barely felt it misting on my face, which is amazing. So this is the completed look that I came up with for one of my holiday looks. It's a little bit more bold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found it a little helpful. If you did, go ahead and thumbs it up. Subscribe if you guys are not already, and I believe that is all. Until my next video, I will catch you then. Bye.